Now let's uh, capture the rigid geometry, pieces that don't need to deform. And these are all the pieces that are going to come out of the second output of this split node. So we have things like the eyeball, the teeth, the claws. Now before we do that though, we want to name everything. That will help us when we go to do this. So what we want to do is if we go to this geometry spreadsheet and go to to the primitives, we're going to see that there are no names on any of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to just match everything. And now the groups have become names. And that allows us to organize things a little bit better, especially for those rigid pieces. So by adding that name node in there, now after we split, Let's put a pack node down, and we're going to feed the second node in. And there we go. We've got all the different pieces uh, that we brought in. So on this node, what we want to do is turn on the name attribute so that the name creates the packed, and then make sure we transfer the name attribute as well. Now if we were to then go to the geometry spreadsheet, you'll see that everything has been turned into packed geometry. So we don't have hundreds of primitives, we just have the, the primitives aligned with the groups. So let's move that up. So we've got that packed geometry there. Move our bones and so on up here. And this will allow us to put down a capture, capture packed geo. And this has two inputs. So we're going to bring the geometry in on the one side, and then we'll bring the bone in on the other side. So the bones will come in on this side. And on this node, we have to make the associations to the joints. So if we want to We'll put a plus sign here, and we'll say let's pick, and we'll let's pick the teeth, the lower teeth. Enter, and then the joint we can pick off this menu and say lower mouth. Add the plus sign, and we can use this select tool to go out and say okay, we're going to get the upper teeth, the upper gums. Uh, press shift, select those, enter. And we're going to assign those to, and we'll do those to neck, neck two, which then we do it again. And each time we do this, we can associate the pieces that are necessary with. So, for instance, we can do these joints here, enter, and those are the right claws, and we'll put those to the right toe, and we'll do the left claws to the left toe. Now we also have the eyeballs and the eyelids. Let's start with the eyeball, enter, and we'll assign that to the eyeball joint. And we can do the same with the upper and the lower lids, because each of those um, have their own joint that they can work with. So we go to low upper lid, to the upper lid, and the lower lid. And we can assign that to the lower lid joint. There we go. So now what we've done is we've captured the pack geometry to the to the specific joints that where we want them to be rotating from. Now we can take that and test that uh, in the deform in the final deform. So if we go here and we select the jaw, you'll see we're getting those lower teeth. If we do the neck two, we're going to get the eyeballs, everything are moving. And we've got our, our claws as well.
So we have been able to connect these together, and that works well. Now in terms of the eyeball and the lids, uh, we can select one of them if we want and rotate it. Uh, we can select any one of these, but we will rig those up later, and when we rig them up, that's when we'll get them really doing their thing. But, you know, there's the upper lid. So we can tinker with those if we want here with the rig pose. Now, of course, we want both these rigid pieces and the deforming geometry to work together. So what we're going to do is add a merge node in here, and then we'll feed the deforming geometry in as well. And there we go. So now when we go down here, we're having all, the, all of that stuff working together. There's the lower jaw with the teeth. Perfect. And there's the claws. So as you can see, each piece, rigid piece, is now working uh, along with the deforming piece. Now we're going to put in a node uh, to unpack this. So if we unpack it, then it will do two iterations. And we're going to just bring in the transfer the star and bring in the color. And there we go. So now we have all these working together as a complete sort of rig. And we can test it and so on, and everything should work appropriately. And you can split your geometry uh, into these rigid pieces and the, these, the deforming pieces and rig them together.